frustrating the last sort of three minutes, but the first 89 you've been pretty proud. Uh, yes, I just said to the, the players in there, although uh, Joe and myself and the rest of the staff know it's only temporary, the last thing I, I said to the players there made me feel immensely proud of the performance they put in. Yeah. Did you think you were going to hold on there at the end? Yes, I did. Yeah, I thought we was going to be... Uh, we, knew, we knew we'd come, come in here. They've got you know, wonderful, talented players that we were going to be put under the under the cosh, so to speak. But uh, I think if we saw the, the discipline of the of the side and the way that they defended for each other. Um, I thought we were going to hang on. Yes. Arsene Wenger said that he thinks that Cardiff are the fittest team in the league. Um, I mean, do you think that gives you a, a great well, whoever comes in? Did you say that about the system manager? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Um, Does that give whoever comes in, whatever the future holds, a chance of surviving now? Uh, of course, I, I believe the squad that we have is good enough to survive the Premier League. Uh, whoever comes in, new guy, is uh, obviously an important month coming up. If he can add to it, if he can make the squad better, then then all well and good. But I believe the team uh, are good enough to stay in the Premier League. Wenger also said that the team played as though there was a new manager in the stands. Uh, you know, they really sort of raised the game. Do you, did you think that was a factor today? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm really unsure whether they, they knew or not. There was no talk of it on the team bus, in the hotel, <coughs> team bus. And in the dressing room, so I, 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 I would be totally unsure about that. Have you got any idea of, of your own future long term? Have you been given any indication of what might happen? No, no nothing at all. I'm contracted to the club until the, uh, the owner or the chairman tell me different, then I'll be in work tomorrow as usual. Yeah. Is, is that a difficult position for, for you, you to be in a situation with like Crystal Palace earlier where? They weren't sure what was going on, or do you just focus and carry on? It's, it's people, coaches, and managers in football, they, they, they know this is a precarious job and we just get on with it. There's no problem there. David, you called in Kevin McNaughton? Uh, yes. Um, it's a bit of a surprise. He's come back from Bolton, obviously. Kevin Deerfile? Yes, Kevin, Kevin uh, tweaked uh, his knee uh, yesterday in training. So, uh, Kevin, we, got, uh, we had to get international clearance through on Kevin because he's coming back uh, into the. Um, I thought he was a typical Kevin McNaughton, fantastic professional coming and done a magnificent job for us there. You could have had Brayford or Connolly in that position, is that because uh, obviously Kevin's been playing regularly? Kevin's been playing, yes, yeah. He, he's fit and he's a, he's an old head uh, and a lovely silver head he has as well, but uh, he's he, he, he done, as, again, a typical Kevin McNaughton performance. Was there a slight frustration about the penalty, I feel? Um, what, the handball? Yeah. I, I thought it was at the, the time, I, but I, I haven't seen it, so uh, until I've, I go back and have another look, it'd be wrong for me to comment. Yeah. Did, did he allude much to injury? Much, yes, it's a hamstring injury, yes, yeah. Is it, do you know at the moment how bad it is? They, we, the, the, uh, med the medics will have assess him tomorrow and we'll know a bit more then. Presumably, Dave, you just get on with preparing for Saturday now, do you, in this week? Yes, yeah, or, yeah. Business as usual, in. business as usual, Terry, yeah. Can I just ask you about the sort of centre arms? I mean, I just thought they were outstanding. Today. They have been all season. Yeah. Um, ben and uh, Stephen have got a fantastic uh, combination going now. Um, every, every every single game that they put their body on the line, that they're, they're, they're leaders of men. Um, I think Stephen, where is it, how young he is, uh, he could go on and be absolutely anything. But the pair of them have been magnificent. Mark Hudson has been incredibly unlucky as well. He played a huge part in the uh, success since uh, Malky and I have been here, but uh, he's he's had to he's had to wait his, his turn there. Hasn't been any injuries or suspensions to them, and so he's had, he's had to bite a bullet and ha hang on. So we've we've got three centre halves that are more than capable of doing the job. Yeah. Is it in the area? No, not today's game. No. Does he pop down and see the lads afterwards? No, he hasn't. No. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.